today, we're going to create folk art farm landscapes in the style of Heather Guller. Inspired by Heather Guller's book, Folk Art Fusion. Before we begin, let's talk about Heather Guller. I want to introduce to you an amazing artist. She's a contemporary artist. This means that she is still working and painting today. She's probably in her studio right now painting. Her name is Heather Guller. She is considered a folk artist because she's self-taught. She did not go to art school. Heather Guller paints pets, flowers, angels, and farm landscapes. Heather Guller also paints pet portraits. For $250, you can commission her to paint your pet in her unique style. Heather Guller has received many awards for her artwork and she sold over 750 paintings in just five years. Inspired by her today, we are going to create folk art farm landscapes. You will need paper, sharpie, crayons, watercolor paint, paintbrush, and water. Let's get started. Put your paper in the horizontal position. With a black sharpie, I'm drawing one line across the center of the paper. This is the horizon line. I'm dividing the farm field into sections, starting with a vertical line in the center. Notice how my lines are changing direction. Drawing the barn and silo. What style barn are you going to draw? I start by drawing a square and then a smaller square inside of the square. Now an X on the barn door, a triangle for the roof and a small circle window. I'm adding the side of the barn and a long window. Now I'm drawing the roof of the barn. I'm adding diagonal lines to the roof of the barn. This is the silo. I'm adding some stripes. Notice how my lines are a little bit curved. Now I'm adding some circle shapes. These are the tops of the trees and there's the trunks of the trees. Some of my trees are overlapping. This is the moon. It's going to be a nighttime scene. Are you drawing a nighttime scene or a daytime scene? I'm dividing the sections of field into more sections. This will make my composition look more interesting. Adding patterns. Heather Guller uses patterns and colors all over her artwork. What kind of patterns are you going to add to your art? So each section I'm using a different pattern to make the composition really interesting. You can fill each section with different kinds of lines, different kinds of shapes, or a combination of lines and shapes. I've drawn some patterns that you can choose from. What kind of patterns are you drawing in your picture? Sometimes I might repeat a pattern because I think that helps move your eyes around the composition. Now I'm also adding more details to the trees. I can't wait to see the patterns that you're adding to your picture. Adding color. I'm starting with crayons and notice that I'm drawing white on white, which is really hard to see. But if I tilt my paper, you can kind of see the white on white. Later, when I paint it, the white stars will shine through the dark paint. Notice that I'm not coloring everything completely. I'm just adding a little bit of color here and there. I'm coloring in the diamonds blue. I'm putting some stripes in the field and I'm not coloring everything completely. I'm leaving a lot of the paper white. It's nighttime, so let's turn on the lights in the barn. Remember, you're not coloring in the whole picture. You're leaving some of the paper white because we're gonna paint over the picture with watercolor paint. Get your watercolor paint. I'm painting a nighttime scene, so I'm using dark colors in the sky. And remember those white stars that I drew on the white paper? You couldn't see them, but now you can see them underneath the paint. The stars shine bright through the paint. This is called the crayon resist technique because the paint doesn't stick to the crayon. The wax in the crayon won't let the paint stick. So go ahead and paint right on top of your crayon colors and see what happens. 
Look at all these patterns shining through the bright colors. What colors are you using in your picture? Look at the way the crayon colors shine through the paint. If you paint a little bit too thick, you can take a paper towel and dab some of the color away. It's finished. Heather Goler Folk Art Farm Landscape. I had so much fun drawing folk art farm landscapes with you today. I can't wait to see the folk art farm landscape that you created.